Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. So today is May 1st, and today is weigh-in day for Lulu. Every first of every month, I get on the scale, and I just want to make sure that what I'm doing is working in alignment with my goals. Like, this is what I want, and this is what I need to do. So I do it but then I need to check from time to time to be sure that it's working. So this morning uh, I weighed in and I was under my range. So I was, last month I was 132, which was a pound under my goal weight, but I have a range that I use. My goal weight is 133. Uh, if I'm 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, then I'm in my range. Two pounds up, two pounds down. If I'm three pounds down, 130, or three pounds up, 136, then I need to make a food change. Depending on the time of year, sometimes it, I, I go up because I'm not as active um, in the winter and then I get more active. So I've been very active this month. I've been hiking a lot and I've been working in the garage a lot. And um, so this morning I was 130. So I'm outside of my range. So I need to do something about it because I don't wanna to be too fat and I don't wanna to be too thin because both of those things are not my goals. So I'm having my tea doing okay without the coffee. It's not that bad. Uh, fortunately, I didn't drink enough coffee that uh, I'm not having any withdrawals at all. So I'm grateful for that. I'm not having any headaches. I'm not having any tremors. <laughs> oh. So um, every day it's getting easier. I've just, it's soon enough, it will be something from the distant past and it won't even be on my won't even be on my radar. So, um, but until then, I'm just hanging out with the, I had dandy blend for, uh, with my breakfast today. And now I'm just having a cup of tea. Uh, this tea was recommended to me from a subscriber. Uh, she said it's from the India Telsa original. Uh, it's, it has holy basil in it. Tulsi. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's caffeine free, stress relieving and energizing. So I tried it and I'm enjoying it. So thank you for that, uh, that suggestion. Mm, mm, mm. So I tweaked my food plan. I'm, I'm increasing my protein servings. So instead of four ounces of chicken or fish, I'll be having six ounces of chicken or fish. Instead of two eggs, I'll have three eggs. Um, and for the nuts in the morning, I have two ounces. Um, I don't want to have three ounces of nuts. That's just too many nuts. Um, I'm adding a little coconut oil, a quarter of an ounce of coconut oil I'm going to use on my breakfast. That's how I'll make my breakfast a little bit higher in calories um, with a little coconut oil on it. And then the other meals I'll increase with my, um, with my protein increase. So, um, you know, I'll tell you, I'll just to be totally honest here. The first thing that I want to, that I go to as a tweak is to increase my carbs. I want more rice and I want more sweet potato. And the minute that I go there too quickly, I know that that's not the best one that I should pick. Um, because every foodie loves carbs. So if this doesn't do the trick, if the, uh, if adding, increasing the protein doesn't do the trick, then I will increase the carbs next month. But I have a feeling that this increase will bring me back into my, into my range. So. I'm grateful to have um, uh, very clear structure 
on what I do regarding my food and my weight because that's not how it was most of my life. And I don't want to live like that anymore. So I had to do something drastically different. And although it seems very restrictive and it looks like I'm deprived, I just need you to know that this is total freedom, total freedom. There's more to life than food. There's more enjoyment in life than food. It seemed like food was my first source of joy and comfort. Like even if it was, I was going to be with somebody that was going to be, that was going to be joyful and comforting. It always included food. My socializing always included food or cocktails. It just seemed like all my socializing revolved around food. Every holiday revolved around food. Every, everything, every day at the beach, it was all about what was going to go in the little cooler, you know? Um, so now I do all my socializing without food and I really enjoy it. My very, very best friend, we've been friends for uh, 40 years. Um, her and I are going on a hike today at one o'clock. We're meeting at one o'clock. We're gonna go hike. Uh, we're gonna do a five mile hike. And this is a friend that I used to go out and eat and drink with. And I just redesigned that friendship and she's, she's lovely and you know you know who your real friends are because <laughs> there's a lot of people that don't spend time with me because i don't eat and drink with them anymore so many people it wasn't it i i made an attempt to redesign different relationships and they all didn't work out like that which is fine uh it just everything happens as it should and i'm grateful that um um that this friend, we've, I've redesigned the relationship that it's around. We walk, we walk all the time. And we have sons the same age and our sons are friends. They're both in their mid twenties and sometimes they come with us. And we all used to uh, hang out together when the boys were babies, when they were little toddlers and, and, and they're still friends today and it's kind of cool. And, um, um, sometimes they come with us, so and my friend Bob is coming over today and he's going to, um, start cutting up those pallets. He wants, he's, he's really into this, into doing this pallet project. So what's really what I envision happening is that he's going to work on that wall with that's going to be a built in with the pallets. And I'm going to work on the other wall with the counter and the cabinets. And while he's in my presence, working on that wall, he can guide me on that wall because I can cut and I can screw things in. But I just I will have questions as I go along and he will most certainly have the answers. So um, that's how we'll get both walls done at the same time. So I'm really excited about that to see how um, these these cabinets go up and how uh, how the Berkey is going to go in, how we're going to cut that hole out for the Berkey and how we'll design that. And thank you everybody for your advice about raising the Berkey because it makes sense because if I, if I have it on the floor, I have to have it on the edge so the spout comes over the edge. But if I just raise it a few inches, I can have it back a little bit and I can put my cup under it. So I might, I'll see how much I need to raise it. And um, I won't put it on a block. I'm gonna put it on something that's open so I have, I can use the space under it because every inch of space is extremely important. So instead of building a, a, bo a, blo a box to stick it on to raise it up, and then that's an that's just space that I can't use. I'll just have something where the front is out and then I'll just slip in some things, even if I can fit a couple of books under it. You know, it could be my little bookshelf. So anyway, so it's all coming together. I'm really excited. And um, um, 
the big thing to get behind me is removing the chair so mm. this is a lovely tea it's good i like it so i had my delicious breakfast the usual sweet potato nuts pear uh, pink salt and coconut oil that's going to be the new new usual going forward i'll have coconut oil on my on my breakfast and i just did some prep cooking i cooked um a whole package of smoked paprika chicken so i have that all ready for me for the next couple of days and um i'm going to get the pressure cooker out i'm going to cook another batch of green beans i got some really nice organic green beans and I love that they're all washed and trimmed and and uh, they just go right from the bag right to the pressure cooker and get them steamed and those will be delish. So usually I do all my spring cleaning cleanup in the yard myself um sometimes my son i'll ask my son to help me or Brittany, she helps me um actually a few people in the house help out in the yard but it's a big job because it's a big yard and there were a lot of leaves and just debris from the winter because winters are pretty rough around here so i decided to hire it out this year so i found a company and i called them i said come over give me an estimate um so i needed to have my yard thatched I never even heard of that before, um, but my sprinkler guy, I have a underground sprinkle system, so I was talking to my sprinkler guy, and he said, you really have to get your yard thatched because there's so much debris stuck under the lawn right at the soil um, that it's, it's hard for the fertilizers to penetrate. So basically, if you can imagine it being like a, a it's almost like raking, but it's, a, it's like a deep, comb like it gets everything out it's a machine it's not a rake it's a machine so i hired them they came over when they were going through the yard with the machine the stuff that was coming out it was heaps of the stuff that all it just looked like hay all mounds of hay all over the yard all over the yard and then they had to clean all that up and take it away in the truck then they cleaned up all the leaves and they cleaned up the whole front of the house, the whole, all the shrubs, they cleaned all that out and they weeded it. They trimmed all my shrubs and then they mulched it. Um, everything looks really good. <laughs> it looks really, really good. It was worth it. It was $520, which when you really think about it, there were three guys here for a few hours. So I think it was a good deal. And, um, you know, I love doing that stuff. I have the energy to do all of that. But, you know, I'm busy with the van build. I'm busy with YouTube videos. You know, I'm busy with food, my food prep. And, and I'm just, you know, I'm not stressed out. And I don't want to be running around with lists of things to do. So, you know, if I can take something off my list by hiring somebody, I prefer to do things myself but sometimes it just makes sense to hire somebody else to do it. <laughs> mm. So I have a couple of more hours this morning before lunchtime and I'll enjoy my lunch and then I'll meet my friend for a hike and then come back and work on the van with Bob. So I'm gonna go head down to the garage right now. I'm gonna assess my projects and see what I'm going to do next. It's going to be a great day. The sun is out. It rained all day yesterday and the sun's out today and nothing like appreciating the sun after a full day of heavy rain. I had a wonderful time at the live stream last night. It was fun. The contest was fun. Uh, I loved that all these people won these wonderful gifts of products from Sava Organics. Um, I have all the addresses all compiled into an email 
Um, I'm still waiting on a couple, so I'm going to give that the rest of the day. If I don't get their addresses, I'm just going to send off the ones I have and um, it was just a blast. I really enjoyed it. If you missed it, if you missed the live stream, it's, it's posted here on my channel. Um, it was the Sava Organics giveaway, a wonderful company that I thoroughly enjoy their products. And I'm so grateful that they decided to share some with my viewers and I'm really grateful for them. And I'm grateful for all of you for showing up and uh, sharing your enthusiasm with me and your joy with me. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.